All right. Hello and welcome to another episode of RN Cliff Notes. And today we're going to be discussing the Glasgow Coma Scale, which is going to apply to anybody studying neurological nursing science. All right. Let's jump right in. Okay. Who am I? Cliff Davis, uh, Associate Dean of Nursing and longtime advanced medical surgical professor. Okay, Glasgow Coma Scale, or GCS for short. Uh, I want to teach you the ins and outs of that so that you understand uh, the minimum ranges, maximum ranges, things like that, and key things that you need to understand in terms of uh, preparing for nursing examinations and the NCLEX exam, okay? All right, so the Glasgow Coma Scale provides a practical method for assessment of impairment of conscious level in response to defined stimuli. And that can be found at www.glasgowcomascale.org. And what they're getting at here is that it's pretty important to understand the shifts in your patient's conscious level. Uh, as a matter of fact, many a times uh, in terms of examinations, one of the things that you're asked being a professional nurse, what is the very first thing that you would see change in terms of your patient status? And that would be, many times, alteration and level of consciousness, or what we refer to as ALOC, right? Okay. So anyway, the Glasgow Coma Scale, we're looking at eye movement over here. We're also looking at verbal ability and motor ability. Right, these three separate categories. And that's important to know, that there are three key categories that make up the GCS. And again, right, three, that brings us back to our medical magical numbers, three, okay? Now, uh, as we're talking about it, <clears throat> in each category, what you'll find is that each one starts at one. So there is no such thing as a score of zero for the GCS. Now, that has lots of implications for us. Somebody can be seriously sick and practically dead, and they still wound up with what? A score of three. So, right, there's nothing impressive about that at all, and what you'll find uh, later on in the slides, we'll discuss what number is key for nurses to know. And so, anyway, three, minimal, minimal score. Not good, right? All right, so one for each category, all right? Now, the exclusive Mr. Davis way of learning the GCS. <laughs> this is a little something I came up with to help students out, okay? So what I teach my students to do is to simply add the letter S to the category that we're looking at. So in the case of eyes, right, we're looking at the eye movement. So all we did was start with I, E, Y, E, and we add the letter S, and if we add up those letters, what? One, two, three, four. What do we come up with? A score of four, and that indicates what the maximum range is in that part of the GCS. So eyes, one, two, three, four is the maximum score for that, right? And we already know that one is the minimum. Moving on. Okay, verbal ability. This time, instead of verbal ability, right? We're just making it what? Verbs. And if we count the letters for verbs, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And that also gives us the maximum range for a person's GCS score within their verbal ability. One through what? Five. So we simply added the letter S and then added up the letters. All right. Moving on. Okay. Motor ability. Same thing with motor ability. So instead of motor ability, right, or motor functioning, what we simply did was add the letter S again, and what happened? We got one, two, three, four, five, and what? Six. So the maximum score for motor ability is six. So, right, if we add all of those together, what do we wind up with? So we come up with a maximum score of 15. So you and I, right, as our, our functioning is totally intact, our neurological ability, we should achieve a score of 15, right? Nowhere near that score of three that we were talking about. 
<laughs> okay? And so, but what's the idea? Because there are three categories, many students misconstrue this concept, and they see 15, wait, there's three categories, and what do they think? That's right, that each category has a maximum score of five, and that's not the case, right? The scores go what? Maximum score of four for eyes, for verbal ability, verbs, what, five, and for motors, six. Four, five, and six. Yeah. And now, by the way, earlier we made mention of a number that worries us. And the thing to remember here is what? A score of eight and we are too late. Right? We are responding to that person too late there in critical, critical need. And like we said, eight's not far from three. And three's practically dead. So, right? A score of eight and we are too late. All right? So our maximum category scores, four, five, and six. <clears throat> and there you have it, the uh, GCSN summary. Okay, so thank you for tuning in, and I hope this uh, helped you out in terms of helping you to realize that the minimum score was what again? That's right, three. What score worried us? That's right, eight. And what's the maximum score that you can get on a GCS? 15, correct. And hit me with those category maximums. Maximum category for the eye functioning is 4. You guessed it. How about their verbal ability? 5. Excellent. And their motor skills? 6. Super. Keep studying smart, guys. See you next episode.